Good morning, myself, C. D. Prem Kumar, Assistant Professor from Department of Information Technology, going to deliver the core content on microcontroller and embedded systems. In this video, we are going to discuss about the concept of emulators and debuggers. So coming to the emulators, what is an emulator? An emulator is a piece of hardware that looks like a processor, has a memory like a processor and executes the instruction as such the processor will do. This emulator is sometimes referred to as in-circuit emulator. That is, the emulator replaces the processor in the target circuit. If the processor gets a fault, then immediately that is replaced by the emulator. So whatever the processor will function, the same functioning is done by the emulators. Then this emulator gives us a debugging capabilities similar to standard desktop software debuggers. Even the program crashes, the this emulator still get the contents of memory. So many emulators have a features called overlay memory. That is, it is said to be the blocks of memory present inside the emulator that the emulated processor can use instead of the memory on the target. So this processor either reads from or writes to any address in one of the specified ranges. Coming to the next portion that is debuggers. What do you mean debugging? Debugging is the process of finding the bugs in the software and correcting those bugs. As a program, it usually takes the form of a small monitor that runs on the target for a processor that can examine memory, install the breakpoints and trigger on various conditions. So this debugger has the capability known as remote debugger. What do you mean remote debugging? It is nothing but a program that runs on a system that is different from the debugger. So mainly to start this remote debugging, then you are going to connect this debugger to a remote system over the network. Let's see an example for this debugging. Here we have taken a JavaScript by using a breakpoint. You have three text boxes with a welcome message in it. Under that you have a three different buttons. So if you click on the yellow button, the first text box changes to yellow. If you click on the red, the middle one should change to red. The last one blue, the welcome message turns to blue. The concerned text box changes to blue. Now here, if you click on this red icon, what happened? Immediately, the color won't change. Why? Because there is an error. See the query in that, in the red image, the letter I is in small. It must be in a caps. That is a error. So that must be corrected and it is rectified. In the script, the breakpoint is set where the error lies. Here the breakpoint is set in the red image. So that has to be corrected and rectified. Again, you're going to refresh the page so that what happened? If you click on that red button, immediately the middle text box changes to red. So this is the example of debuggers. So far, we have discussed the concept of emulators, debuggers with the help of example using JavaScript. Thank you.